hello friends welcome back welcome to the another video of salesforce bits um, in this video i'm going to talk about the per transaction apex corner limits so basically you know the apex runs in the multi-tenant architecture so there is a chances that you know apex resources monopolize uh, monopolize the shared resource in the multi-tenant architecture so in order to avoid that the governor associated with uh, apex issues warnings or you know uh, errors whenever the apex exceeds the allotted limits so let's go ahead and see the common and most important limits of the apex so the total number of the sql query issued is you know for the synchronous 100 you know 100 a sql queries can be fired in the synchronous and 200 in the asynchronous so if you recollect asynchronous is something you know in the batch apex or the schedulable apex or uh, you know at future annotation methods so that is about the so-called queries and total number of records retrieved by the so-called queries is limit of 50,000 so you can only retrieve 50,000 records in so-called queries and total number of records retrieved by database query locator so the database query locator is nothing but you know which you use in the batch apex so the maximum number of the records which you can process in batch apex is 10,000 it should be asynchronous sorry about that it's written asynchronous let me correct that out so 10,000 total number of social queries so salesforce object search language so number of the queries that you can issue is 20 uh, and next total number of the records issued by a single social query so it's like if, if you you know go back social query can retrieve 50,000 record but social queries can retrieve 2,000 records total number of dml statements issued which is 150 so at any point of time you know you can issue 150 dml statement per session i mean per 24 hours time limit for a user total number of the records processed as a result of dml statement approval process or database dot empty recycle bin so which is the limit is 10000 total stack depth of any apex invocation that request really fires the triggers due to insert update or delete statement so it is uh, stack depth means nothing but you know you call the trigger either from the insert or the update trigger any context uh, in any context after trigger or before trigger so the recursively it can go up to the level of 16 like in one uh, before insert you call one trigger and it updates something and after that you call it calls again it calls the trigger again similarly it can go recursively up to 16 level maximum number of methods with future annotation allowed per apex invocation so for synchronous it is 50 and for asynchronous uh, zero in the batch and the future context and one in queuable context and maximum number of apex jobs added to the queue with system dot in queue job is you know for synchronous 50 and asynchronous one so this is the limit which can be added to the queue and maximum execution time of each epic transaction is 10 minutes so you can maximum ex execute up to 10 minutes after that it gets timed out i believe so these are the main uh, apex um governor limit which has been you know in place whenever the apex executes in the background so this is about the apex per transaction governor limits thank you for watching please do subscribe to this channel i'll be posting more more you know this is not so important i mean uh, you can find it handy but i'll, po I'll be posting more scenario based videos and you, you, I hope you don't want to miss that so please do subscribe and click the bell icon for more notification thank you bye bye